Welcome back to another episode of Crossroads Rebuild. My name is Steven and thank you for joining me as I continue working on the 2004 W211 chassis E320 Mercedes sedan. Uh, so in the last episode you saw we got um, all of the tie rods fixed. The car now steers which is awesome and I mentioned at the end of that video that I needed to replace uh, the brackets at the front that hold the stabilizer bar in place because they broke. Uh, looking at a diagram online, I bought what I thought I needed, and I do need these parts, but uh, I was just taking a look at it, and it turns out there's actually more to it uh, than what I thought. So these two are the rear brackets. They mount to the frame of the car, and then there's a bushing that goes in there, and then there's a front bracket, and the bushing and front bracket are what I don't have. I'm going to take you down there and show that to you here in just a second. But because I can't do this job today, what I am going to do is go ahead and take the car down off the jacks, and I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, work on the back end, try to get that back bumper installed, see if I can get the rear uh, hatch working again, because right now it doesn't latch. Bought a brand new battery for it, so hopefully we can pop that in and it'll start under its own power without being jumped now. So before we go back there and get to work on that, let me go ahead and slide under the car with you and I'll show you what we've got going on underneath and what I need to order. All right, rolling up underneath the Mercedes, this is our stabilizer bar right here and you can see that it's not really attached to anything here in the front so you can see right here the back bracket on the I'm on the right side right now the passenger side so you can see clearly where that's broken and then up top what I missed the other day is that there is a screw here which would hold the front bracket on and of course there's a bushing that goes in between there uh, to hold on to the stabilizer bar. Both sides are broken. Let's scoot over here so you can see this side as well. This is, sorry, this is the driver's side here. It's a little bit harder to see, but there you go. There's that bracket. And that one's broken as well. There's actually a little bit more of this one left than the other, but in either case, hope that's not too close, but in either case, they're both broken. And so I'm uh, going to have to go ahead and replace them. And since I don't have the front, uh, front brackets or the bushings for those, I'm not going to be able to do that job today. So I'll get those ordered from FCP Euro. For now, I'm going to go ahead and get this car down off the jacks. And uh, we'll go ahead and work on the bumper instead. All right. So we got the car lowered down. Don't need to pull it out yet because I want to go ahead and work on it while it's still in the shop. So, uh, as you can see back here, obviously we're missing our rear crash bar. I've got one of those, and I'll go ahead and open that up here uh, shortly, and um, we'll fit it up. I've got the bolts there. Should bolt right on. Um, then, I'm going to have to figure out how to fit uh, the replacement bumper. Now, as I mentioned in the last video, uh, we talked about, in the very first reveal video of this, of this car several months ago, um, about whether or not I should repair the bumper that came with it, or whether or not I should go ahead and just replace it. Um, the problem was replacement bumpers were very, very expensive, um, both aftermarket and even OEM used. Um, but I kept an eye out on uh, eBay and places like that, and I finally came across a bumper. It's actually the right color, too. It's a silver bumper off uh, a W211, and um, and the guy had a real, uh, real reasonable price on it with free freight shipping. I, I have no idea how he made any money. And he even had a buy it now, excuse me, a uh, make an offer option on there. So uh, I made an, op uh, an offer. I got a replacement OEM bumper in the right color for 175 bucks shipped. So I think I did really, really well considering uh, both beat up used OEM as well as brand new unpainted um, aftermarket ones were four, six hundred dollars or up. So I think I got a really good deal. Now it's not a mint bumper as you'll see. We'll open that up in a little while. I'll show that to you as well. Uh, so we uh, may end up painting it, but uh, we'll get into that in a little while. So the first thing I need to do is go ahead and replace this bracket. Um, this bracket is broken. It's, uh, it's loose on this side and it's broken over here. It's only held on with one bolt right here in the middle. Uh, so I'll go ahead and pop that off. I'll uh, try to straighten these up uh, down here at the bottom. And then we'll, uh, we'll do a test fit of our replacement bumper after the crash bar is on. So uh, that's what we're going to work on now, is just see how things kind of fit up, and uh, we'll go from there. So let's go ahead and get started on that. Okay. Well, before I even got so far as to start recording anything, I got to looking a little bit closer. And um, 
things aren't as bad as I thought. Now it's a little frustrating because I bought a part thinking I had something that was broken and it turns out what I have isn't broken. I'm going to show that to you here in a minute. But uh, here is the replacement bracket that I bought and there's nothing wrong with this except if you look at, here, let me flip the camera around here. If you look at the original, sorry my shadow's there, now you can see first of all it's only mounted in one place right there and it's got these little wings. Got one right here that's loose and another one down here that's totally missing and I actually thought those were broken. It turns out those are just uh, slide on pieces, they kind of clip on. I thought okay well I've got one of them but the other one's missing so even though it's not broken per se it's still missing. But I got to looking at the one I bought and there's two problems. Uh, first of all, I'm going to set it down, first of all uh, you notice that it has two mounting points. I can only assume this is some sort of a, a revision. Um, I have no idea uh, because it does otherwise look like the same part. Uh, but I can't use this one because it doesn't mount the same way. Uh, second thing is, as you can see, it doesn't have either of those little wings. So okay, that's a bummer. But I got to looking at my original bumper off of this one. And uh, you can see there's still some brackets over there, which I should be able to use as well as over here. Um, but most importantly, there's my little wing right there. So I'm going to try to pop that thing off of there, uh, hopefully without breaking it, and put it back onto my other one. And I guess hypothetically, uh, I can use these. So I think what I end up doing actually is taking this off uh, of the car, attaching it to the bumper, and then... Um, and then once the bumper's in place, bolt it back on from behind. So that's what I'm going to do. Now before I do any of that, I actually need to replace uh, this smashed up um, crash bar. It did its job. Uh, I have a new one, so let me go ahead and grab that first and uh, go ahead and um, get it unwrapped and then we'll fit it up and see how that goes. guys I got uh, the replacement crash bar installed and uh, it's, it's actually not 100% installed um, there are two brackets excuse me two uh, nuts that go on each bracket on the inside of the trunk and then two that go on the outside uh, of the trunk and um, the ones on the inside of the trunk are super easy to get to the ones on the outside not so much because the exhaust is kind of in the way um, so as you can see it's mounted on there but uh, I'm going to work on getting those uh, outside bolts uh, on off camera because there's no, you don't want to watch that. So let me go ahead and get to work on that and then we'll get to work on hanging the actual bumper cover. All right, had to step out for a few minutes because I was getting a very important delivery for the new project that you don't know about just yet. Uh, but uh, I'm back. I've got the crash bar all secured and I am ready to go ahead and unpackage uh, the replacement bumper I got, see in person just how um, good or bad it isn't because I got it really cheap so hopefully it's still decent and then I'll probably have to harvest some parts off of my old bumper and we'll uh, give it a shot hanging it on the on the car and see how that goes. So let's go ahead and get started on that. Alrighty, so here is the old bumper and here is the replacement bumper and you know there's good and bad about uh, this replacement bumper. Let's go ahead and start with the bad. First of all, it doesn't come with this outside trim here which I knew about but I've still got the trim from the original car 
which while it is popped out and a little bit scratched and scuffed, I should be able to pop off of there and reuse. So I'm not worried about that. As far as other bad things, um, we have a little bit of peeling paint right here, which again, I knew about. I figured this bumper would need repainted. And then it's a little bit scuffed and cracked up here. Nothing horrible, but it's, uh, it's a little bit. And then um, down here at the bottom is actually the worst thing. And it does have a little bit of a split here. Um, but again, I'm not horribly worried about that. Uh, it's not too bad and I should be able to fix that uh, before it's repainted. Uh, as you may recall, our original bumper is split pretty badly along the top and uh, in several other places and it's, it got hit pretty good uh, there in the rear as well. So that's the bad stuff, but let's talk about the good stuff. Um, for starters, it comes with this bracket already installed. I don't know if you can see that or not. There we go, that's a little bit better. It's got all the pieces and it's already installed. And uh, unlike that piece that I bought, it only has the one mounting point, which is just like our car. Um, it has both of these mounts on it, which our car, uh, the ones that are on there are pretty rusty. So it'd be nice to replace those. Uh, and then, uh, now there are two mounts down at the bottom um, that kind of clip onto these little uh, welded on things. And my right one is good, but my left one, there's the part on the floor, is broken. And on this one, the right one is good, and the left one is broken. So, they're the perfect complement for each other. And uh, additionally, this little access thing uh, here, I think it's for towing or something like that, is still present on the new bumper, whereas you can see the hole in that one where it's missing. I guess it probably fell out during the accident, or when they towed it, or whatever the case is. So, with all that being said, um, I'm pretty pleased with it. Nothing um, wrong with it that I didn't already know about. And, uh, you know, we're going to have to work on it. There's no doubt about it. But that uh, was going to be the case anyway with our other bumper. And I think this one is in better shape than our original bumper. And uh, so since we're going to have to paint it anyway, and this one comes with all the bracketry and hardware to hang it on the car, um, I think this was money well spent. So... I'm going to go ahead and remove the brackets from the car that are still on from the old bumper. And then I'm going to go ahead and give a shot at hanging uh, the new bumper on the car. See how it goes. Let's get started. All right, guys, so here is, uh, well, here's first, the, the bumper is installed most of the way. Now, I didn't put um, the trim in yet because uh, I think it'd probably be easier to paint this thing with the trim off the bumper, so I'm not gonna worry about that yet. And then um, I learned a few things as I was going. First of all, I've got uh, these pieces here. There, were one, there was one of them on each side uh, right here along where the fender and the bumper mount. Apparently, see I thought these were some sort of bracket that the bumper had to snap into. In reality, my old bumper apparently pulled out of this and uh, it's supposed to be integral to the bumper. So my new bumper uh, came with these installed where they should have been, which is cool. So the first thing I had to do was there are two bolts on the inside of the trunk right here and right here. Uh, that hold that on, so you gotta remove those. And then, up in here, inside the wheel well, there is, well, it's, it's gonna be impossible to see, but right about here, there is uh, another place where you can tell originally they had uh, a bolt in there. Um, don't remember what those things are called, speed nuts maybe, or whatever those uh, little uh, metal clip retainers are that you screw into. They had one of those clipped to the bottom of the fender or the uh, quarter panel here, and then a bolt would have come from the bottom. That bolt was gone on my car. I found one that I thought would work, but I couldn't get it to work. Um, so what I did was I removed it altogether, the clip by that is, and I grabbed some of these, which I had left over from my Ford Fusion rebuild. And uh, these are those two-part plastic snap-ins, and they fit perfectly. So, I just put one of those uh, in here to hold the end up. 
Uh, and actually those will be easier to remove later on and we don't have to worry about them rusting which is probably what happened to the previous one and then uh, two bolts. Now I know this isn't a perfect fitment right now and that's okay uh, because this bumper is going to come back off before it's painted anyway. Um, so I did that to both sides. Uh, there are also three bolts here on the inside. There's one here, one here, and another one right uh, here. So three bolts along the front, two bolts along the side, and then one of those retainers. And then there are the two brackets at the bottom. Uh, I'm not worrying about those now because I don't want to risk breaking them. Uh, and since the bumper's coming back off, I just went ahead and left them undone for now. So, uh, if you're ever working on one of these e, uh, um, E320s, the W211 chassis E320, that is how the rear bumper is held on and removed. So, um, this car has a bumper again. Looks pretty good. I know it's not a mint bumper, and we're going to have to do a, a little more paint work to it, but there it is. Next thing I'm going to do before I call it for the day is I'm going to go ahead and work on this. Um, the trunk does not latch right now. I think that's because it's already latched, so it's not uh, grabbing the clasp uh, because there's nothing wrong with the trunk that I can tell. But they may have done that on purpose because the batteries were all dead in this car and the main battery lives here in the trunk and it's difficult to uh, jump start if, um, if uh, the, the, the trunk is closed and you can't get to the battery. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and put this brand new Napa battery in. I also have um, a new battery for under the hood, which is the small accessory battery. It's about the size of a motorcycle battery. Anyway, I'm going to replace both of those. So the car should have good power now. And um, I'm going to see if I can pop that uh, trunk latch and uh, hopefully get it open because I have the electronic key that allows me to drive the car, but I don't have the little insert that goes in here. So hopefully... <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully it'll work. So uh, wish me luck, that's what I'm gonna get started on right now. All right, got both batteries installed and I have the key. Like I said, it's missing the, whoa, don't focus, there we go. It's missing the manual part so I cannot use uh, the manual lock, so let's just start by hitting the pop trunk thing. Hey, look at that. Oh man, I wasn't even pointing at it. Well, you heard it. <laughs> let's see if she latches. Well, look at that. Super easy. Now let's see if it opens again. Awesome. Awesome. And just because we can. Cooper. <laughs> okay, I'm stoked about that. Yeah, I can sit here and mess with this trunk all day. Okay, let's we'll stop there. All right, y'all. I am excited by how much we've gotten done today. I am disgusting. Uh, it is so hot and it's so humid, so I am nasty, as you can probably tell. But we got a lot accomplished. We got the crash bar installed. We got the new bumper, our replacement bumper installed. New batteries installed. The trunk is working. Um, we have a game plan for repairing this new bumper. So we're in really, really good shape. The car is looking awesome. Steering works from the last time. Really, the only thing I didn't get accomplished today that I'm really kind of bummed about is I did not get uh, the uh, stabilizer bar brackets replaced uh, because I don't have everything I need, unfortunately. So I'm gonna be calling FCP Euro today, hopefully, and get those here as fast as I can. And uh, so hopefully I'll be able to drive this car here pretty soon. Uh, beside that, I'm gonna start making preparations for paint. What do you guys think? Should I take it to my buddy who paints? He'll do a professional job, it'll look great and he'll have it done pretty quickly. Uh, might cost me a couple hundred bucks to do it. Or should I buy some paint and try to do it myself? Uh, it's an older car, so on one hand it might be uh, no big deal to try to learn to paint on an older car. Um, on the other hand, I don't want to waste money buying paint and then doing a bad job. So leave a comment below. What do you think I should do? Should I go ahead and have it painted professionally? Or should I go ahead and try to paint this bumper myself? Let me know below.
And that is where we're going to wrap it up for today. Thank you for watching me. I hope you're as excited about this one being close to done as I am. Uh, it's looking great. Just need to do a little bit of paint on that bumper and then get those stabilizer bars taken care of. And then all that's left after that is clean this thing up and uh, she's ready for a new home. Thanks so much for watching. If you haven't already, go ahead and drop a like on this video. Comment below, share the video, and if you haven't already done so, go ahead and subscribe, and then click the bell so you can be notified each time I upload a new video. And you're gonna wanna do that because we have an exciting new project starting very, very soon. Hoping to actually release the reveal video later this week. So you get two videos in one week. Anyway, thanks so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.